So that's where it kind of started. And then when I made Ghosts and I was really, again, thinking about my family home more. And I think really just trying to find a way of looking at the domestic as sort of, you know, in terms of relationships and relationships with people, relationships that people have with their, with their homes, relationships people have with their furniture. And it was trying to sort of bring all those things together and, and just, I think, quietly talk about maybe some of the darker things. I don't think that using um, forms that were related to death is something that I'm particularly... You know, I don't find that sinister. I mean, people do, and people think that I'm, you know, obsessed with death. I don't think it's sinister. I'm not, you know, I think there's a very strange, especially in this country, sort of um, uh, sort of denial of death, you know, and, and people don't quite know how to deal with it because people don't really understand it. People, you know, hide. It's not like a kind of celebration of people's lives when someone dies. It's, it's, it's a terrible tragedy, which of course it is a terrible tragedy when someone dies, but I think it's, you know, people have also lived their lives and things are left behind and memories are left behind. I was using mattresses and beds for all sorts of reasons, but as you kind of work with these things and with, you know, with this material that people have slept on and people have died on and people have, you know, then inevitably it has this whole history and kind of resonance which becomes part of the work. The piece that I'm working on at the moment is called House and it's very simply the cast of the inside of a house in concrete. It's a turn of the century um, terrace house which is a typical kind of architectural style. I chose the particular house for the, exactly those reasons because it's like a kind of archetypal house. What I'm actually doing is working on the interior walls of the house and literally making a building within a building. I think house will have a mausoleum quality, but I also think it might be a little like a sort of fossil or something that's been um, excavated. It's very difficult to talk about the piece because I haven't seen it yet. You know, at the moment it's still all, all under brickwork. I'm hoping that it will have this very strong but slightly kind of fragile presence because the actual width of the piece is only about 14 foot. The breadth of it is longer than that and it's, it'll draw one's attention to the um, very narrow living spaces that we normally live in. It may have a, a depth to it but it's actually quite narrow. And once the two buildings are um, cleared from either side of it, there'll just be this rather strange kind of building just standing in the middle of this gully, which is in the middle of a park. And then, you know, afterwards, the, the kind of media flourish and attack and the Turner Prize and the, all sorts of other things that happened. Um, and I think I was finding, I found it a strain, really a strain. Um, and would go and see the piece, but sort of go in disguise and, um, you know, sit in the car and with a sort of hat on and sunglasses. And just sort of just trying to just trying to figure it out and try and watching people watching it. And and there were petitions to try and keep it up. I mean, everything you can possibly imagine kind of went on with this thing. Um, and then it was knocked down. It's a shame, I think, that it could, didn't have a chance to become invisible, like architecture becomes invisible. Um, and I think that's an interesting aspect, and maybe it's something that I, I will sort of work with at some point, but um, this wasn't meant to be with this piece. And it had this, this sort of fight for life, and, you know, now it's a park with closed gates and people sort of throw their dogs over the fence to have a shit in there, and it's, you know, that's sort of what the place is now. And it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, it really is ridiculous. And there's probably very few countries in the world that would do that to, a, you know, an artwork that had been such a, a success in many ways. But, you know, 
we managed to do it. <laughs> so.